Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm bringing back the series where I create custom backrooms levels all by myself, and then I show them to you all. This video is about backrooms level the web. Hopefully by the end of the video, you will see why it is never okay to touch any kind of spider web you see while exploring the backrooms. If that sounds interesting, you're gonna enjoy the video, I think. Let's hop into it, shall we? Share the videos with your family, friend, dog, cat, fish, caterpillar, anything. Thank you. So Backrooms Level The Web is classified as a Class 5 difficulty and is extremely unsafe, very unsecure, and has a moderate entity count. The level itself has been categorized under the enigmatic level list because no one really knows where it's at or why it behaves the way it does. We do know that it takes place somewhere beyond level 8 because that's where you might be able to get to this level from. Anyways, the level itself takes the form of strange looking corridors and hallways that dead end or drop off at completely random times. The hallways are also interlinked by staircases that interconnect and fall off at random times as well and all of these areas are very claustrophobic. The halls in this level behave very strangely because you could just be walking down them and then the hallway will end and there'll be like a 500 foot drop right in front of you. Makes no sense. And as I said, the hallways are very small and tight and claustrophobic and most of the time you're gonna have to either duck or crawl when you walk around to explore. There are a very few lights and windows scattered in this level and they're extremely rare, which of course leaves most of the hallways and rooms in complete darkness. The level itself has a disgusting smell to it. It smells of rot and mildew and rust and decay and it's everywhere. You cannot escape the smell. When you first get sent to the level, you'll start your journey in a very small room that's around six feet tall and just a few feet wide. The room itself is made out of some kind of hard concrete, and you'll notice instantly that it's got some weird kind of substance on it. The substance in question is pitch black and is thick and viscous. The leading theory on this is that it's liquid silence. In fact, most of the hallways here are coated with this liquid, and the reason we think that it's liquid silence is because there's literally no noise that echoes through the level, which makes it even scarier when you explore deeper into it, especially since all you can feel is your own heartbeat. Anyways, after leaving this first room, you'll start your descent down into the winding hallways, staircases, and rooms below. After a couple miles deep on your journey into the level, you'll start to notice cobwebs beginning to form in the corners of the ceilings and floors, and you might even see some mushroom-type fungus as well. The ceiling itself seems to be empty rafters, like there's no actual ceiling, it's just the wood beams that hold it up. Anyways, this ceiling area is where most of these initial cobwebs can be seen. Inside of the webs, you might be able to see a crawler entity or two, which is just a type of anomalous fungus spider-like creature. More on them in the entity portion of the video. But at this point, the level's halls and pathways will start to become even smaller and more claustrophobic and damp. Everything will start to feel wet and cold and disgusting, and the mushrooms and webs and liquid silence that coats the walls and the ceiling really just add to that disgusting ambience of the level. Eventually, the hallways will open up into tons of different offshoots and staircases that you can go down, and all of them are more terrifying as you go. Now, it's about this time in the level when you see all those hallways shooting off that everything becomes smaller, like to the point where you're gonna have to crawl around. And it's at this point when everything becomes so clogged with spider webs that you pretty much can't avoid them. The webs themselves are not really anomalous, they look like ones from real life, they're just much bigger and thicker, and they too have liquid silence on them. The webs can be walked through, although that's disgusting, and it's literally the worst decision that you can make while you're in this level. So avoid the webs at all cost. And I'll talk about the reason for that now. So if you barely just touch a web or graze it, nothing bad should happen. But if you start walking through a bunch of webs and ripping them down or off of you, you will cause the vibrations that you're making to go from web to web up into the ceiling and down into the floor below you, which is also full of webs, and this will alert the entities that 
call this place home. Now, as I said, the main entity that you'll see here is just Entity 17, or Crawlers, which are the physical, animated form of this weird fungus in the back rooms. There are different stages of being infected by Crawlers, and the ones mainly seen here are smaller stage 4 infections. And these entities are mainly congregated up in the ceiling or in the floor of the level. And they're the least of your worries. The rarer and more elusive entities are the silent spiders. These are the entities that are responsible for the big webs once you get deeper into the level. They take the appearance of oversized real spiders, and they can range from 10 inches to a couple of feet in size. They are completely silent when they walk, and on top of that, they seem to be coated from head to toe in that black liquid silence that's all over the level. This means you can't hear them coming. And normally, they won't outright attack you and are actually pretty easy to scare off if you're ready to scare them off. The real danger is when you get wrapped up in their webs because you're crawling on your hands and knees through these really tight hallways and you can't move around and the webs eventually just wrap you up. And this mainly happens when you go too deep into the level. Now, once you're in those webs wriggling around, they will send the signals to the spiders, then they'll rush in, wrap you up, and then they'll pull you to an unknown place. When you're wrapped up, they will put you in this weird looking gross black cocoon thing, and they will hang you from the ceiling. And since the webs are coated in this black liquid, no one will be able to hear your screams for help. After a person is wrapped up, it's unknown where the spiders actually take them. Some people think there's a secret layer underneath the level, it's really just unknown. But there is a theory that those small cobwebs at the beginning of the level somehow can alert these spiders that are deeper into the level that you're here. So if you see cobwebs when you start walking through the level, uh, don't touch them because they might alert these giant spiders. So now for the question that I'm sure all of you have been asking this entire time. How do I escape this horrible level? Well, there's actually a pretty decently consistent one. It's located at that hallway junction where those hallways meet. And if you take a offshoot hallway to the left and then no clip into the floor there, you should be sent to level 10, which is a pretty safe level. And this exit has been pretty effective so far, and that's pretty good news. Now this level is entered by falling down into the cavern inside of the caves on level 8, which mostly happens accidentally, since no one wants to jump down into a cavern. But as far as we know, that is the only entrance, we hope. So yeah, that was the web level that I created. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment web broodly if you are still watching, and I will heart everybody's comment that says that. If you want more custom levels like this, leave a like. I really love making them. I really enjoy the whole process of it. Love the world building and everything like that. I really think this is my best one yet. Let me know in the comments if you think so. Also, while you're down there, check out Toogly and Spoogly if you want more of me. And whatever channel I see you on next, I'll see you then. Peace.